Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Team With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. Episode number, Dan? 145. 145, just like that. 145 episodes, hundreds upon hundreds of hours of talking shit. And here we are with my guest, Mickey Bartlett. But before we get to the Fuck right main up. course... What was the point? <laughs> we're sponsored by Thompson's Tea. These guys well, have never been... mind them. What about fucking Punjana? <laughs> What's the point? Why is he bring... talk well, about These it? are the guys that knock out Punjana. I know I, no, I hear I'm a Thompson man myself. Oh yeah? Uh, Thompson's tea. Quality. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> Fuck. Say I come up with that. Edit it so I said that and then send them in. <laughs> these guys have been you know you know Punjana, you love it. Strong Ireland's number one selling tea. They've been making it since you'll know this. The late Day When dot. did they start? Day dot, I believe. No. <laughs> One, one, one BC. They invented the bag. Was, before that, it was just hay everywhere, and they were like, "Man, nah, nah, I put it in a wee bag." <laughs> yeah, he started off as a rucksack. Yeah, which wasn't actually, she just changed the name to the OGT. <laughs> <laughs> Again, say I said that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, these guys. But John, listen, I have a podcast as well. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't edit that out. <laughs> Pajana, look, we don't have a discount code for this. We don't have a promo code. Just, just keep, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep drinking it. Keep enjoying it. Saw a guy at a shop, yes, like literally last night in a spa who let me off the five p bag without charging me. So, bad news for the environment. Good news for the podcast. Uh, but just keep drinking, Punjana. Since the late eighteen hundreds, these guys been running about, you know, <laughs> getting up to all sorts, mainly making tea. But Thompson. the Thompsons family do it all themselves. They taste it by mouth. They taste their own tea by mouth. That's handy. Oh, no, a, lot, a lot of the others don't. I, yeah, yeah oh, I hear. Don't even... Them lions. Tell, oh, t- Tetley. Not, they listened to it. <laughs> Sounds fine. Oh, Tetley snorted. Tetley. Oh, mate. Don't even chat with Tetley. The things I know about them, I could bring them to that whole fucking operation. Do? Pajana love it. Yeah. We're also sponsored by Manscaped. New year, new you and all that. Me and Mickey were just saying, we need to sort, we need need to sort, to I need to sort yeah. things out. And that's something like that's a conversation you couldn't have had five, five, ten years ago. Two guys, just two fellas, two comedians talking with their dicks. <laughs> nah, <laughs> not not back then. <laughs> we need to sort it out. We need to sort it out. Um, Manscaped. Uh, you look. They were sponsoring the podcast since Pussy was a kitten. They've got ball cleanser. <laughs> ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a woman since who, pussy was a kitten yeah. the Jimmy the Jimmy Savile biography <laughs> fuck me since pussy was a kitten now then <laughs> manscaped <laughs> since Snoop Dogg was a pup <laughs> my uh, <laughs> my I used to fix this woman's car she was like in her 80s and she would always work in this I think it was just a fuck with me she would always work in the sentence since I haven't seen you since pussy was a kitten and I, it was like I can't, I, can't say that to me yeah. um I, I used to, my dad used to help me old ladies in her 80s as well, but she would just say <laughs> horribly racist things. N words, left D words. Yeah, yeah. Uh, D? Yeah. What's about that? Rhymes with Barky. Manscaped have <laughs> ball cleanser, ball deodorant, ball wipes. Ball deodorant? Ball deodorant. Shit. Yeah. I'd be in that. My, I don't really, I, I don't want to take over your ad or anything, but no, um, I, I've, I've got a situation going on right now. Like, I need, I need my ball shaved properly. I might go to a Turkish guy. I'm the actually lawnmower at the point 4.0? Point like, yeah, I think. Four, it's up to a 4.0 now? It's a 4. Point. Shit. After the 3.0, a lot of chat in the industry was where do you go, where next? Do you go next? Yeah, do you go to a 3.5? Like the way Jackass did? Yeah. <laughs> or do you just go right up to 4 the way Die Hard did? And speaking yeah. of ass, so your bottom out too? Does your bottom too? Does everything, mate. Is there a stick on it? Does your taxes? What? <laughs> You know, like the bomb, the bomb disposal <laughs> things. <laughs> Does it, when you're doing your ass, is it beep like a lorry reversing? <laughs> what your ass? The mask gave me. Wouldn't that be a brilliant? Sorry, I've been on my own for like two weeks. But <laughs> I just imagine you in your bathroom going, nee, right, all good, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> right, and then you just beep. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's a good idea. The man's getting five points, don't have a beep. You should just know. You have to put one of your arms up. (laughs) (laughs) You're all right. Kill a hooker. (laughs) Manscaped, use code tea with me for 20% off and free shipping. The link's in the bio. Move into the new year, right? (laughs) That's not not the right way to move into the new year. (laughs) Bit of fisting. Manscaped, sort your hole out. Exactly. 
That's my guest one. is probably oh last in fact I, I said this to you last time and I was like who else is like big from Lurgan but we worked out it's you Neil Lennon Collie Duffy and you know political yeah. <laughs> prisoner or whatever I'm, I think I'm the best at stand up out of those three right um, what what's the what's have you ever got we anything? all kill in our own fields you have know? you ever got anything in Lurgan that's actually not true he doesn't even know that field uh <laughs> And there's no actual proof that the killing happened there. It's just that's where the bodies went. Right. And then Collie Duffy, he's... What? <laughs> Last time Paddy McDonald was on the podcast, told a story about Neil Lennon. He said, Paddy said... Paddy said... <laughs> now, let me paraphrase this with Paddy, Paddy said... said. <laughs> they, they, I don't fuck me and Paddy's doing... I fucking work on a scaffolding up and fucking... Twen, Twenbrook and then fucking Neil Lennon's all Paddy! <laughs> Yeah, as you fuck on me and him paint all. Yep. Yeah. That's <laughs> what impression of Paddy. It's not very good. That's more believable. It's actually, yeah. Paddy said he was at Roy Keane's first match for Celtic and he was giving Keane a bit of abuse. But two weeks later, he met <laughs> me. <Neil> Len- <laughs> I don't know why I just wanted to say Vuvuzela, sorry. I literally haven't talked to anybody in two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Neither have I. Um, so he, he basically said that he was giving Keane abuse all match. And then mm. a couple of weeks later, he went to meet Neil Lennon outside Celtic Park to get a book signed. And then uh, Neil Lennon was like, and if this happened, this should be a film. Neil Lennon's like, yeah, mate, the book's in the back of the car. Paddy got in. Roy Keane was in the boot. Just got Paddy in a headlock from the back seat and said, you better. <laughs> said, you better. He did say it. Right, right or wrong, he said this. Something along these lines. Keane got him in a headlock. He was like, don't you fucking, don't you fucking dare talk to me like that again. Don't you fucking dare again. Roy Keane's from Trinidad and Tobago in there. Yeah. <laughs> you said you're just getting into football. Like it's a new thing. Yeah, I bought FIFA because I don't want to watch football. So I bought FIFA thinking I'm bound to learn a few players' names. But who are you trying to impress? My girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's starting to realise I'm not a real man. <laughs> so yeah. uh, I'm being like, oh, fucking win. Have you been, what, why have you been on your own for two weeks? Just Christmas. <laughs> just, oh, that's just, so sad. <laughs> well, there was because, uh, yeah, it was just like, because all the, was there, I don't know if there was more restrictions or not, but it just ended up sitting in my flat, like in the flat. Wasn't really out. What's the coolest thing you've ever got free in Lurgan? Because you're fame. You ever it's been in a shop and got, like, you know, Mr. Bartley, your money's no good here, or? I think maybe the odd pint, maybe. For, as in, someone comes up, I got you this, or the bar the themselves. Bar have gone. Don't worry about I, that. What I'm saying on. Um, I think that's about it. There's not really much to get free in Lurgan. In like, Lurgan, yeah. Is there a car dealership or no? No, that'll be right. Like I did, I did go to a car dealership. I don't know if I was telling you this. I went to a car dealership. Uh, the the fish, you have a fishing rod. What? We on the? F- oh, you I, I was on the fucking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, basically, so basically, I'd I've been saying it for years on a podcast that after the Ulster Hall shows, I was like, I'm going to go straight in the Audi dealership and just buy an Audi. Yeah, I think I was telling you, I was like, yeah. buying a fucking Audi. And I had grossly misjudged how much I was getting paid <laughs> <laughs> by like a lot. I think you you, you you said it was Audis to me. You were like multiple. I think you oh, said yeah, yeah. you're just no, gonna ID. Yeah. the whole fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna be all first thing. Volkswagen and Dirk Technic. We're changing that. <laughs> See them four rings. Gonna make one big ring. Just a big. So the car's going Whoa! right, but <laughs> but. You should work in advertising. First ad, first ad, big ring, line of coke, right? Then I'm sitting on the bonnet. Audi, get it in the But Is that what Vorgsburg Dirk Technique translates uh, yeah, 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 it's Irish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a speak up in the quail talk. <laughs> but um, also, I've quit smoking, so I'm now, I now no longer have a smoker's cough. I have a, my lungs are healing cough. Let me, I want to ask you about that, but what did you do in the car dealership? Well, yeah, you try yeah. and so, grossly misjudged much I was getting paid, and then I thought, I'll go in anyway, right? Because <laughs> in my head, I was like, I was going to walk into the Audi dealership and be like, I've got 30 grand to play with. <laughs> <laughs> like, to play with, right? And I, I didn't, <laughs> like, even fucking nearly have that much, right? So I went in, and I was like, fucking, like, trying to... <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want to like looking at the top of the range one in the shop? Like, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it was just, it was just hands behind the back. Yeah, whistle. You'd like fucking <laughs> kick a tar, kick a wee bit, not Aye. too hard. Just yeah. do it. Like, check my hair in the morning. Um, saying, will she take it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what it is. 
<laughs> in my head straight away someone's like Mona Hatley takes you through a back door there's a woman tied up because <laughs> again I watched the murder documentaries but anyway aye, so basically in my head I was going out of dealership I have 30 grand to play with <laughs> and I went in and I went the guy was like what are you after I was like like a maybe second or third hand like a very, a very used Audi <laughs> and he was like what sort of budget and I went I have about 8 grand to play with <laughs> Yeah. And I still thought he would go eight grand. Oh. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he just looked at me as if to, as if to say, "So does everybody." Yeah. Like, I think I was the moment at thirty four years of age. I realized, oh, people save. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I've like, <laughs> eight grand to play with. Like, no one's, you're not playing with it. Like, mm. and what they, they, was he able to help you, or did he just advise you to just? He went. There's a ten year old one there for, and I was like, oh, think about it. <laughs> I didn't want to admit. You're like, does she I, take her? Like, no, yeah, she doesn't I, take I can't, her. Yeah, it doesn't take her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I can give you an, an Audi fucking steering wheel cover if you want. <laughs> Do you want a key ring, wee man? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, we'll take a key. Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think there's definitely like ways to talk to car dealers I, I i just don't know it like i don't either but yeah. i think it does like i've told you before i bought the like the nissan juke yeah and i was like fucking or like the girl i was going out with the time i was like you you walk in you shut the fuck up right i'm making a deal <laughs> like thought of like playing a blinder and when i worked it out i went oh i'm paying eight grand more for this car than right, it's yeah. actually worth yeah yeah because it was like over a five-year period so oh yeah yeah that's a piece of shit i got a nissan you had the duke like, at a cash cash yeah you, yeah and i remember going Which in. is an actual car yeah but it, my my dad described it. i was going to get a duke and There's my dad goes puddle jumper i don't know what that means i don't know what that means I, and I, I, but i went like this I know, fuck sick. I don't know what he's talking I about. Fucking puddle uh, jumper. They're shit. They're fu- it's uh, yeah. they're shit. But I, I told you about the, the time I saw the first time I saw another bloke driving one, <laughs> and we waved at each other. <laughs> like I hate it. I went in to get the cash cut again after a gig. Like you say, you work. I think when you do big gigs, Aye. you go. There's three thousand people here, and they're paying twenty quid a ticket. So I get Aye. that to amount of money. Multiply those two, and that's what I get. And you get nowhere near that. It's it's disgusting. Yeah. Like, so so I went to get this uh, after a big gig. I was like, I'm gonna go down Poucher Road here. Just and like you say, I have a wee bit of money to play with. Aye. I had I had six grand to play with. Aye. Right? Just just walking about money. Aye. You know, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Just dropping a grand behind Walking you. Talking about voucher, oh. yeah. <laughs> and um, Money clip. Saw the one I, I liked, the one I wanted. Go in, I'm like, I've just seen documentaries about fucking car salesmen. Whatever the price is, is not the price. Aye. So I go in, see this car. It was on for 6200 I go, mate, I like it. This is the one, I like it. But I don't like the price. <laughs> I like it, but I don't like the price. And the guy goes, right, he's like, to be honest, this is they have a one called like Use Direct Chargers, yeah. which is like we're not putting these in any of our like big dealerships, mm-hmm. but this is like the sales section basically. <coughs> so I go, I, I don't like the price. You, you you'll need to work with me on that. And he goes, Well, this car is priced as low as we physically can make it. You can see what it's worth. We're not making much if we sell it for any. We can't right. go any lower. So it's six two. I think I, I was like. A low ball I'm hearing I offered someone like one and he's like <laughs> he's like that's not anywhere near that doesn't right, work you're, like you're it. supposed to go yeah five. and then I say he'll say three we'll do a deal I'll spit in his, my hand his right. hand his Show cock whatever and he goes no, no I test drove one of those and didn't like it but he goes he goes um, no the, I, I can't do anything on the price I could do it for six too, but I could throw in a year's warranty. And I said, uh, no. Nah. I was like, maybe I could go like three. He's like, I can't, I can only do six too. You are getting a good deal on this. I was right. like, I know they say that. So I said, I'll maybe go for a dander, mate, and think about it. Went for a dander, came back, expecting him to be at the showroom Aye. door on his knees. Please, mate. <laughs> he goes, have you had to think about it? I said, I could do about, I could do four. He goes, Six twos all we can do for it. <laughs> all right, six two. <laughs> yeah. I got zero money off. It. I've I've had that happen to me with gigs. Where, <laughs> yeah. Like you know, people have gone like, "What do you do?" 
it's a fucking sports dinner or something. Yeah. And I go eight hundred quid and go four. Uh, no, the, what was it? What happened to me one time? Eight hundred quid, one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever? A lot of people, especially when you know before the how, like we can speak to people now and go, "Could you negotiate that for me or whatever?" Right. Which is great because, like, I think we all hate talking about money and yeah. negotiating and all that sort of thing. Apart from Kieran, obviously, <laughs> um, <laughs> who comes to it, but. Um, the the uh back in the day i my mate stevie who like is involved in comedy in no way Mm -hmm. i obviously asked him could i do this he's like yeah of course i set up an email address in his name and i would say to people i'll get my manager to email you it was just me and i thought i was the only person who does that and i know loads of people who've done that really yeah i did not do that yeah (laughs) like but i started giving him a backstory and all that wasn't his own backstory his dad's from paraguay yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> just you with a pencil and the stash going. <laughs> yeah on the manager I used to weirdly <laughs> and Steve's guys weirdly tuck my dick and balls in between my legs when I was using his email account <laughs> tell them stories about your old showbiz days she was the best piece of ass I ever had <laughs> I was booking gigs at the Molan Rouge and <laughs> you're trying to I'm Barry Moore yeah I work with both of them Joe and Michael <laughs> I work with a Barrymore twins, Drew and Michael. He doesn't know anything about you, bitch. I'm fucking alert. Yeah, just really old school stories. <laughs> I work with Mr. Sheen, the Polish man. Polish? That's right. <laughs> I work it's with all the it's sheens. It's they pronounce it over there. <laughs> I work with all the sheens. Martin, Charlie, Mister, all of them. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I work with all the sheets. Martin, Charlie, Mister, Vendenma. <laughs> Vending machine. Anyway, no. I took a lot. Of, I took a lot of acts to the top. All the axe tops are naff. Blow. <laughs> blazing squad all the acts <laughs> a1 i fucking i love blazing squad i like blue yeah <laughs> it, blue with <laughs> stevie wonder remember that they and they 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 uh, did one with, delivered they did one with elton john too yeah blue were actually really good yeah like really good it's do you know how every boy band has a secret game member yeah i was surprised when it was duncan really yeah I wasn't. I, I really was. I thought fucking surprised. Right? Who yeah. who was your money on? The wee blonde one. Lee? Yeah. Nah. No, Se- do, you know who's, do you know who's, well, Simon Webb. Simon Webb didn't get the credit. Simon Webb had a great voice and a great look. Oh my God, the body on him. Sound like a pop star, look like a pop star, a pop star. Yeah. I yeah, always yeah. thought. And then we Anthony Costa. Oh. Right there. Bless him. Yeah. Bless him. Lovely voice. Voice of an angel. Yeah. Face of a fucking... He can, he, by the way, he's been to see you do stand up, isn't that weird? Remember? Yeah. Bollocks. Edinburgh Fringe. Find me the funny. He was in the audience. Fuck yeah. You that you should tell people that more. Anthony you know Costa has you know, seen you, you do stand up. Um, the girl who played Emily in Friends. Oh yeah. Came to my show at the Edinburgh at the Fringe, and it was the last Tuesday of the Fringe, which is where I historically do it blocked. And I died on my hole. <laughs> like, I didn't realize she was there until I'd seen her leaving the room. Like, uh, very, very drunk. I'm sending a few celebrities down. <laughs> Rachel. I mean, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Costa. <laughs> Antonio Costa. He comes, of my- I think he's something to do with a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be huge, kid. you you got to be. You're gonna be as big as Billy Piper. I work with all the Pipers, Billy, Rowdy Roddy. <laughs> You're gonna be as big as Billy, and I did. Piper. Um, I, yeah, he's just and he's booking us for local gigs, you know, which doesn't work in that voice. I'm get I'm getting you 20 minutes at the front page of Balmina. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> all the greats have played there. <laughs> You play it twice in your career. It wasn't the way up, wasn't the way down, and you, baby, are on the way up. <laughs> <laughs> I got you doing warm up for Nolan. 
<laughs> then we're gonna record a show. <laughs> Oh, where is it, baby? No, no, no. You misunderstood. Colleen. <laughs> it's never it's never the gig you think. It's never the gig you think. <laughs> yeah. I got you the new movie directed by Nolan. <laughs> You're playing him in a biopic, kid. <laughs> You're going to need a game 570 pounds by Tuesday. I <laughs> <laughs> We're talking brand deals Suki Dale Farm <laughs> You're gonna be in the new Welsh movie Irvin No Denise <laughs> So why'd you quit smoking? I just got sick of it um, Cause my psoriasis is going mad as well so I've done uh, and a whole the smoking can be linked to it can it? Yeah Well it doesn't help obviously Yeah it doesn't help it, so See when you smoke I, I think about this recently When you smoke mm -hmm. There's you, the pain goes away. There's smoke in your body, but imagine you were in a burning room. I get out of it no problem. <laughs> but th would that? I just walk out of a formerly burning room and go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing oast, those wee oast. Fireman, I'll be all fuck. Like <laughs> <laughs> <that> guy. Yeah. <laughs> like Gandalf, make a book now. <laughs> can you do smoke? Do you do smoke work? You do those rings and stuff. I can do. You can do one ring. Right, because my my girlfriend. Well, that's and that's how you end the out. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I'm just smoking. <laughs> Me standing the bonnet, bad for you. <laughs> but uh, these aren't. <laughs> my uh, my girlfriend got me bought me cigars for Christmas. Right, for whatever reason I do not know. To help you quit smoking? No, just she was just like I don't know. I, I honestly don't know why she got them. Right. It was. Did you ever get a present? Where you're like, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and me and her, well, it transpired she likes smoking cigars and she's had a couple of drinks, which I didn't know. So on New Year's Eve, we didn't go out and I'm just looking at my quite stunning girlfriend in her pajamas just smoking a big fucking... Yeah. Big cube Merry my, Christmas, uh, sweetheart! <laughs> Sword, <fuck. It's> him. <laughs> hey, where you want to go? The top! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Christmas light switch on, kid, and money ray. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get the Carnegie Hall? Practice? No, it's in Bellamina. <laughs> You're opening for Malachi Kush, kid. You're welcome. <laughs> you also got to give him a lift. <laughs> I got to get out of here now. I got to go get Eamon Holmes Yale. <laughs> I mean, y'all play it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know, like, I remember, remember my granny was going to give up fakes when she was in her 80s, thing, and the doctor went, don't, because I'll be bad for you. I've ha That's happened to a friend of mine's dad. He had, um, he had a heart attack, I think, and he was like, stop smoking, and the doctor was going, not yet, because you can, the stress of quitting cigarette smoking, if, you, if you're a heavy smoker, apparently can, like, fucking... Well, your body's probably ones. dealing with that. And yeah. I'm not worried about the recovery for it. Yeah, that was nice. I, but see, to be honest, it's been... Wait, when, when did you start smoking? Like, when, when you... I was, like, 19 or 20. Like, I was... Oh, really? Yeah, it was a uni. Was it a uni thing? Yeah. I think it was when the smoking ban came in. And then everybody was, like, going outside to smoke and have a bit of crack. And the coolest people were standing out there. Yeah. And all those nerds like, inside at the glass. What are you just talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I know, we were all... Smell the pish in there. <laughs> like, yeah. I remember trying to, like... There was a girl I fancied, and she smoked, and I was like, I'm going to fuck out and go out here and have a fag. Yeah. And it's, it's embarrassing <laughs> as fuck. She like gave me a cigarette, but she was raging. She had to do it. Like, fuck yeah. sake, real skint. And um, I'm like, standing smoking, trying to be all cool. And then I thought, right, I'll flick this cigarette, like dead cool. And I'm walking back in. And I fumbled it and I went into my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> agony. But yeah, so I've just um, put off in a month. Right. I haven't drank in five weeks either. Do you. Very are you, fucking happy. Are you every day like, ah, I want a cigarette? No. To be weird, I've done... Because Colin Geddes quit. I remember when he quit. Yeah. And it was just like, I, I said, is it killing you? I can remember we were sitting around, two people were smoking or something. Aye. I was like, is that really difficult for you? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just off them. See, Dude. what's really strange was like, after about, I think, two weeks, I was in a shopping centre with my girlfriend. I walked outside and smelt someone smoking a cigarette from f like fucking miles away. Yeah. And I was like, that's disgusting. 
<laughs> do you tell them you berated the yeah, person? I'm like, you, you are fucking. You're worse stink. than a fucking pedo. Do you know what? <laughs> but on Facebook, I'll see these fucking smokers. They're fucking disgusting. <laughs> but um, I, I, I a piece I, of piss. I never thought it'd be. I was never that heavy a smoker. Yeah, but, but I, when I you started were gigging, or when you I was were... gig, yeah, when I was gigging or drinking. Like yeah. if I was like, no, it's it's still my favorite thing in the world to sit in a beer garden with like twenty cigarettes and just fucking. You can't smoke and walk, sure you can. Can't smoke and walk, no. That's one thing. That you know it doesn't suit you. When, when you, you die, that will be one of the things I, descri- I describe you as to other yeah. people. I'll say, great comedian, couldn't smoke, couldn't smoke and, walk. and walk. People are like, what? Oh, because I've yeah. seen you have to do it and you can't, <coughs> you, your brain, you can't yeah. do both. It's because whatever way, you I, walk really whatever way I learned to inhale, I inhale like that for some reason. <laughs> so I use my tongue, I know, oral fixation. And um, so, I, yeah, I can never smoke and walk. But you can still use your tongue and walk, no? No, what? <laughs> But you're acting like you ask you're acting like you can't walk and smoke because you need to stop to go like this. No, I think because like there's only, I, there's people I see smoking cigarettes and they inhale without they just go and it's coming out their nose. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I have to do a big like fucking right a long inhale. There was a get. There's one, times I'm con- not even convinced I do inhale cigarettes. <laughs> I'm like right. I've definitely been smoking wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do all the classic things like I. I've probably smoked the equivalent of a cigarette in my right. whole life, like the old draw here now when I was younger. And I remember starting tech, and me and there was a guy, Mike, and there was a guy in our course who was like really cool. He was like a rocker, and he was a few years older than us. And I was like, that's that's what I want. That's what yeah, I he want. was a rocker. That's what I want. Where, where did life. you go to tech in 74? <laughs> <laughs> it it was, was, we uh, were mods, we couldn't talk to him. <laughs> it was, well, I just got my first real sex string, and. Uh, <laughs> It was the summer of uh, That's a shame about Jimmy too wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was the summer of 09 And uh, yeah this guy N- Neil King I was like He's fucking really cool Like And I You know I'm wearing Exactly what I'm wearing now Tracksuit bottoms And a fucking sports top We mm. 16 year old Now he was smoking Out the front of Belfast Met And I said Here Give us uh, LD sir He's like What? I thought everyone was, I was like Oh last draws Took one Really wet it Aye. Smoked it totally wrong Again, like you probably went to flick it or do something. And I said, because he was really in the Slipknot. I went, what's a good Slipknot album, like entry level to like to get in? And he was like, oh, I don't know. You probably you wouldn't like it. I was like, all right, man. I don't think I ever talked to him after that <laughs> in the whole two years of the course. It's, it's, I hate smoking. Like, I don't, I love it. I miss it. Now that we're talking about Jake, you'll ever smoke a cigarette again? I'll probably, when I'm blocked some night, I'll probably, I guess when I am fucking. Yeah. Like Gavin and Stacey, old. At the back, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I just really went off them. I, very strange. It's weird. It's weird for me to see. I'm, I'm never around smoking. Yeah, ever. So that's like neither was I. Like nobody else in my family smokes or anything. Um, but it was. Uh, yeah, I was just getting. I think I got to the point where it was like having to go outside to smoke in the winter is just a pain in the hole. Yeah, and gigging's become difficult because with stand up, you know. It was a lot more like laid back. People were hanging out before the show. We were hanging yeah. out after, and now like doing stand up is like being like a bomb disposal expert. You like running, you get like shipped out. in. You do your set. You're like straight home. Yeah. You don't really interact with anyone else, so it doesn't really lend itself to that. Uh, exactly. Yeah. That thing. is one thing I've noticed about being the, the gigs being back. Yeah, was it was the social aspect of it definitely had it's ships even laveries like everyone's sitting in different corners. Just yeah, fucking and you're like ships in the night with the other comedians. Like yeah. also, what's good as well is. People are doing other gigs on the same night, so yeah. it's like you're maybe only there for your set, and then you got to go somewhere else. Run across, yeah. But I'm, I don't know. I think some people are just, and I totally get it. Like taking a bit of a back seat with gigs and not going out to perform because you know you were saying you don't know what the regulations were over Christmas. I yeah. didn't really either, and I was like, maybe I'll not go and do any gigs. And then two people dropped out of two gigs, and you in McCoy's and Yuri and Crumlin, mm-hmm. gigging Crumlin. And I got asked to do them like last minute, and I, I like I'd have done any gig All between right. Christmas and New Year, just like bored and wanting to keep being sharp and go out. But it definitely is like a different experience. But actually, audiences are at like the be- in the fourteen years. It's, been, lovely, yeah, it's been really nice. Audiences <clears throat> are their best now because people yeah. are so appreciative of just being there and watching it. I I think it's like the yeah. Well, I heard Colin was talking about like his sort of bigger ones because I left the SSE early before like because oh, yeah. I had the cold and then 
because my skin was going nuts, I just went home. Yeah. But did he have to throw people out or something? Was yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, front row. Because he tends to get at his big shows f- nutcases. Yeah. Who are like, don't go out all year. And then they're like, right, let's take a gram. Yeah. H. Of spice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and just see what happens. Um, <laughs> yeah. But you're right, like, I, there hasn't even been, I don't think I've been heckled. No. Since we've been back yagging. No, and it's and it's also rooms of, like that one in um, Cromlin, they never had stand-up before. You could tell a lot of people hadn't been to a stand-up night before, and that's usually disaster, or like worst case Aye. scenario. And they were a bit lively, but not rowdy and not disruptive. Yeah. Some people were like talking out, but didn't know not to. But it was actually like good natured and stuff. Yeah. And they weren't like continually doing it. Those were two of the best gigs I've done ages. No. I think there's a thing, maybe it's us as well, where like, because we've been off it for so long with all the lockdowns, that even people talking is like, I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I know what you mean. It's, it, you, before you would try and get the atmosphere to be exactly the way it should be. Yeah. Like, everyone quiet keep your phone out if someone had their phone out texting you'd be yeah. like oh, for fuck's sake no it's like I don't but care, i think the phone thing up. as well has just changed over the years now it's like because you, you're just used to people snapchat yeah. that now like, what i did mean have you done that week gig in straban no i'm doing it this month it's fucking great yeah so yeah. but there was one of the nights i did it there was a woman and it's it's such a small room like it, it's the size of this room yeah yeah um and there's a woman sitting just recording the whole thing and i'm like i can fucking touch your fringe from yeah. here i can go like that yeah and you're yeah I, I call out video stuff. I make a bit of a joke about it, but then try and get them to put the phone away. Yeah. Photo, like, no bother. But the video stuff, yeah, it's like, you will inevitably put up a clip where I'm setting up a bit. Yeah. So there's not really any laughs there's, in it. There's, it's never, always, yeah, there's never a bit on Instagram where it's like, ah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's a five-second video, you and or it's coming off the back of a laugh. Aye. So you're like, but yeah, you know, the world is uh, it's pretty mad at the minute, you know. Aye. And that's the clip. Yeah. That's the clip. So, and people uh, watch that being like, oh, fuck, those uh, gigs don't look good. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> or even, like, I've seen people recording just loads of it on yeah. Snapchat, and I'm like, what? none of your mates give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, I, I was, don't think any of your friends are in the house getting a Snapchat <laughs> from you, and it's fucking me, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, oh! <laughs> connecting, oh! The, connecting the phone to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see fucking four seconds of Mickey Barton doing stand-up with a rainbow in his mouth. Fucking... I did that. Uh, I did that gig in in Uri, in McCurry's. I've done before. Have you? Yeah, yeah that's really good. Ages ago, the classroom. It's really yeah. good. And there's a guy, and it's it's again rooms with the size this. And I get up, and there's a guy literally like this, phone like he's like two rows back, and he's got the phone recording, big sort of smile on his face. And I before I could say anything to him, he goes, "I'm coming to see you in July." And I said, "You're seeing me now. <laughs> <laughs> You're seeing me now you too, mate. Me? So don't yeah. worry about that." Like, I'm here? Yeah. I had a guy uh, take a photo of me playing an arcade machine <laughs> in fucking cold rain right before, right before Christmas and put it on my Facebook like a fucking threat. Like, because it was, it was a, me and my girlfriend went to the jet center in Korean. Oh, uh, what are they? What are they out? Yeah. Um, you treat her, right? Mate, she treated me. <laughs> oh, I. Yeah. She played a fucking blinder. I haven't told us in the podcast yet. We went to, there's a Chinese place in there. Right. Um, um, Food or just... Yeah, it's just Culture. a, just a play, you just take your shoes off and uh, just meander. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's going to be weird. But Chinese restaurant? Chinese restaurant, yeah. So, in the jet um, centre? Yeah. Yoko, what's it called? After Ono. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said Yugo, I was like, I will. <laughs> so, Yugo Duncan. But it's one of those. <laughs> Yoko Duncan. <laughs> Skinnery eye to deedery eye. <laughs> If you pay attention, I swap the L's for R's there. Racist. Um, <laughs> but basically, it was like, we were sitting eating food, uh, and eating dinner, but as soon as we got in, so it's like the start playing Happy Birthday over the speakers, and some guy's getting a fucking, you know, a brownie with a candle in it, and I was like, I hate that. Like, that really bogged the shit out of me. A few seconds later, it happened again, and I'm like, fuck, that's two people in here. Like, since we, that's, I fucking, that really pisses me off. And then it happened a third time, and I'm like, I swear to fuck. This is, and then my girlfriend was like, I just need to go like, go pee. She went to the toilet, came back, and I'm sitting. And I hear, like, happy birthday. <laughs> and I looked at her, and she was like... <laughs> but as I was saying the words, that's the fourth fucking time. And then I felt the heat of the candle. <laughs> and I was like, you fucking bitch. And she'd, she'd planned it three weeks in advance and sat on it. And I've, I've never been more proud of her. Was it your birthday? No, my birthday's in March. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's just a cunt. <laughs> Here, what else is in the jet center? I thought Jen said big cinema, just big fucking mad cinema, and Chinese re- and like uh, Chinese restaurant, big arcade and cinemas, bowling alley as well. I think of there. Fucking, that's class. EU money, man. See places like that, like you need. I love EU money. Is my rap name, by the way. EU money. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. What yeah. you I just like big fun places. Yeah. Man, big the, fun center. There's a big Craig Avon has one now. Um, no, there's a there's a whole run of them, but because they've, they've all got the same sort of logos, uh, and they all have those American restaurant like yeah. Buffalo Jacks and yeah, fucking <laughs> cut, cotton eye fucking bills or whatever. Uh, but yeah, Craig Avon has there's big arcade, and they've got like a I think they've got like a trampoline place, you know, like an Ertastic type of oh what that you do you like to just do you like to have fun? Yeah, I love having fun. I'm a big ball of fun, me. I have so much fun. How many, like, I would have I went to a roller place. rink for every Friday night for six weeks. That's right, as, and that was not that long ago. You were an adult man. We'd go roller skating and then go to the pub. It's fucking great. <laughs> it was yeah. fucking great. <laughs> don't judge me. I don't care. I love it. You, did you get good at roller skating? Blading, man. I'm a blader. Oh, um, right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Skating's for twerps. There was, I always liked the energy of speed skaters when you went ice skating. But, yeah. Do you remember this? There was yeah. like... There was there was half an hour where everyone had to just wait, and it was only the speed skaters. I know every time I went to ice skate, there was always someone practicing figure skating in the middle of the rink. There was this middle aged Chinese think, guy used to do it in yeah. the Donald Ice Bowl, I and he would really that, put his arms into it too. Yeah, well, that happened in the fucking roller rink place I was going to and put it down. Maybe the same guy. There was like, there was this girl was doing this like sort of sexy. <laughs> the roll, se- kid, meet me at the <laughs> roller rink and put it down. I got an idea, <laughs> but sure. <laughs> We're shooting a mu- music video. For, I'm trying to think of a second name. I'm working <laughs> with your uncle Hugo. We're, we're trying to get him into the Chinese cuisine game. <laughs> we're shooting a music video for McCartney. Paul, no, my friend Davey. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's got a song about the Billy Boys. You're opening for him. <laughs> what in the last, like, in the because you and me, Definitely, since stand up was allowed back in any form, went straight back. Yeah, and I've probably done them, probably done the most shows. Yeah, probably yeah. most gigs. But what was the best in the last say year that you that you did? You were in Ulster Hall, or was there? Yeah, second night in the Ulster Hall was fucking brilliant. Yeah, um, that one. I think like I did a couple of the, like I did a weekend at the stand in Newcastle and Glasgow. Glasgow was potentially yeah. my favourite. Newcastle, I don't fucking great, great time in Newcastle. Uh, like, the first time, the first gig we did at Vittorio's Back Garden. Same, one of the best. Brilliant. Yeah, like, yeah. fucking brilliant. I think I did the second one of those, and it was my first time back on a stage yeah. for however long. And he said, do 20, but if you're enjoying it, do whatever. Yeah. And I did, like, 45. I was, was all new. Man, I was I walked. I was exactly the same. Walked off, like, I had, like, 45 minutes of new stuff. Yeah. And there was a point where, I because I recorded it, and there was a point where I can't remember what the joke was, but people laughed for 45 seconds. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, fucking hell, I'm a genius. Because that and was I, the... I've done the same joke a million times since, it never happened again. I think was it was just people were so glad to be out. That atmosphere, because yeah. it was a summer night, it was outside, you're back on stage, it's in someone's garden. That was like the best was atmosphere. Because like, yeah. uh, I did a, exactly like, I did a bit that was brand new about uh, about the Bible, the monks that like transcribed the Bible. And I thought this is the best, this is the best bit that I've ever written or done. No. And I did it and it was a wee bit like all over the place, but it was great. And then I thought like this, this is the main bit of the show then right. for the tour and all that sort of thing. It never worked again. I might actually give it another go because yeah. I think there's something in it, but I, I think it's been too many yeah, where it just didn't there's work. There's nothing more frustrating when you go, I oh. know this has worked. Especially when it works the first time and then never works again. It's different yeah. if it doesn't work and then you get it to work. A, a, a lot of the time, I find that to be like a story when you retell a story because you're so giddy about telling the story yeah. and you're finding it funny, but and the more times you try and replicate that. Yeah. The harder it is. I like, remember the day that. Do you remember the bit I used to have about um, going to the top man, and the woman thought I worked there. I was my. I used to. All, I used to ask you to do. That. If we went to gigs, I would say, please do but that bit. I remember there was just a day I just stopped working. Just yeah. one night, it just didn't, and it never worked again. It was maybe you just done it one too many. Yeah, times. I don't know what happened, and I've I've tried to bring it back, like years later. Yeah, and people are just like, I don't believe you. 
It didn't happen. <laughs> like it, it. I used to. I love when you have a bit of someone that you go, please do that bit. Mm. Like Paddy McGackey's uh, UTV bit. Paddy McGackey's Weather uh, Watchers. Weather Watchers. I'm like, yeah. Every time, I'm like, please. I do. I love his uh, American sports. Oh, like you're in the forty five. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the the thing about the mental health turning into the pool. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the plate of sandwiches. Jesus bro. Christ. Yeah. I did I tell you about we did that gig in Lauren. Like oh the outdoor yeah outdoor, the outdoor was, one yeah yeah must have been September time or something, and I was like, because <laughs> I think Tim was our Tim I think Tim had seen the set before I don't know if he'd done that bit. But there's a bunch of people sort of sitting around watching it, and as Paddy started that bit, I started running on the spot like he's fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody was like, "What are you? What the? What the fuck?" Yeah, and it went all right, but so you could hear like the audience going like, huh, and then me going ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking wall. Do you know what was it? A highlight as well was the Rathlin and Island Comedy Festival that we that did in Bali Castle. Yeah. Again, that's that was a bit, yeah. It was that was a weird brilliant. one where like the it Brilliant. was it was very strange where because we did the two days. Yeah. So I opened the first day, closed the second day, and it was very tr- fuck. This is a traditional, not, sorry, traditional in the sense that it was hard to go on first and then they warmed up. Yeah, I find exactly you would do pretty much the same set. Yeah, like as it on, on the first spot, it the second spot. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, we were supposed to do a gig on Rathlin Island, which is off the coast of Ballycastle. Uh, done it before. It was all booked, ferries all booked, accommodation sorted, and then the weather people just went. There's gonna be a storm, yeah. as in like a storm, and we moved it last minute to a hotel in Ballycastle, and the weather was fucking it was gorgeous. Yeah. It was amazing. It would and have every been every one conditions. of us drove and then was like, <sighs> "Yeah, oh the pa- like we could have been with the pint. How good was the chippy though? Yeah, the chippy's, that chippy's class in Ballycastle. Oh, that chippy's that's had a few shout outs in the podcast. Yeah, that K- chippy's K- Kieran's a big big fan. Yeah, it's um. What's the furthest you have you ever driven? Is there like a particular food that you like that you've driven a weird amount of time to go and get? You know, is there a wee speciality you like somewhere that you'd be prepared to travel to get? Pro- like that chippy probably is one of the like there's a, there's a few places up and around Port Port Rush where I'm like that's some of the best things I've ever eaten yeah and I do quite often there's one pizza place I went to in New York where I'm like I'd fly over there and get just get that I'd get that's that. a ball that's a like, you, you put up the airline go listen I have 300 quid to play with you <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, won't get you the flight I love I, that'll be that'll be a quality move to just mm. go to New York and get pizza see that right very financially responsible idea to go and do that, mm-hmm. but how happy would that make you? Oh my god! The whole experience as yeah. well, though. Oh, just, just like in, not stay overnight. Just get the home. pizza, quick walk around New York, fly yeah. home. There's a place as well. the The burger it's a, it's a van as well, which I can never find. But the Buffalo truck in Edinburgh, the, the Buffalo du- truck. Yeah, do you remember the the burger place we went to in Galway? I mean, you yeah, know, Wonder Burger or something. Yeah, something. something like that. So it's it's got a similar kind of thing, but it's like a. Um, it's just a chicken burger with buffalo sauce and blue cheese, and it's f- it's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, it's my f- it's my absolute favorite food. Would you it's soaking? You're like, Ugh. do you like trips? You trip guy? Yeah, I love trips. Man. What what we trip? Would you like to do this year in 2022? Is there anywhere you go to Tenerife like- for the first time in July? Book the wee holiday. I know Tenerife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You look like you know Tenerife. You on Las America? Yeah. You on Las Americas? Las Americas. That's where I would have put you. That's where yeah. I would have put you. <laughs> You want full full half or SA? Uh, well, I think it's I you think it's half. It's half board. Yeah, but we're gonna go baller when we get there and be all mates. Just fucking throw it all in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like um, that. You know what's a baller move? When you're half bored mm-hmm. and you walk down for dinner through the lobby and you've been there for a few days and they go to show you to your table and you go, Nah, Mario, not tonight. I'm heading out for it. <laughs> And you got uh, dinner in a different restaurant. That's move. He's like, my name's John. Yeah. I'm from Lisbon. <laughs> <laughs> Tutu Bella. Big man. Ten or eight. <laughs> ten out of ten. It's a place that people might take a piss out of a wee. It's not on the level, obviously, of like Benidorm, all those places. Yeah. But people look down their nose at Tenerife. Reefe. Look down. Tenerife is brilliant. Aye. It's a good size. Sa- Las America's a good size. You've got the strip, mate. You have everything you want in the strip. Fucking you want nice. a novelty t-shirt. I love an old t-shirt. You want fucking whatever Pen you want. Tattoos? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Can you buy them laser pens with the silhouettes of woman? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sweet. You can get Bring one of those. Back from my nephew. Do you know what the best thing to do with those is? See if there's a plane going on. <laughs> I, I, I don't just put them on a wall, I got. Remember those wee laser pens? Those wee laser pens. Those wee laser People used to be like, the dude, they're shining it in the pilot's eyes and all. Aye. But it was obviously like high strength industrial stuff. I remember like people coming back from the likes of Tenerife when you were like eight and like a plane would go overhead when you lived in Hollywood. Aye. People go, fuck's sake, I'll probably go down. Aye. It's like, well, you, you weren't even pressing the button. <laughs> yeah, I know. It won't. As if, yeah, but it's, those ones, they definitely didn't. They definitely weren't. No. At no point was a pilot like, sniper! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember <laughs> these things as well? I would come back from Tenerife with shit. Like, do you remember the way like balloons that were filled with flour and had like hair on them and a wee face? Remember that? No. My dad made us put were those you up, up our bumps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to put those up uh, our bumps. You, Michaela McCallum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rafe O three. I remember. I remember getting like. Um, I think it was my mate brought it back as a present as well, which is questionable. But like the grain of rice, your name on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy's probably still going. He'd be in Tenerife. Yeah. If he's anywhere, he'd be in Tenerife. That's <laughs> 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 <Are> you smoking. <laughs> what is his name? Queeving. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting Kev. <laughs> Shay, please be SE. Please just be SE. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, Tenerife. I fuck it. I love Tenerife. Are you a guy who, when you go on holiday like that, just sit and chill? Or do you need to be going I'm about a, doing I'm a things? very... I, my favourite thing on holiday is literally walk the, straight down to the pool just jump in first thing in the morning. Oh, why? Yeah. Get it back out of it again straight away. I just... Like... I, yeah, I'm very like... Let's just sit here and get blocked. Here's one thing I'm going to warn like, you about in Tenerife. Sand's very hot. A volcanic. Underfoot. Mm? I would say. Like to walk on. Yeah. yeah. To what? Snort? <laughs> no, <laughs> what I else? Just, I thought... No, I just meant like... No, uh, it's, it's hot. Is see, it hot when it blows at you? See if you're... If you have a wee... Can you build castles with it? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it'd be hot castles. But it'd be hot. So gotcha. what I would do is bring your own from here. Own sand? Yeah. Don't be a weirdo, but if you bring Aye. a case just of sand, do your castles there. But when you have your... Why not just build the castles here and just don't go on holiday? Just no, bring them here and take them with you. But, but, but spend local. Just keep... But you know what's going to charge you for sand? <laughs> you, get, you can get free sand. Can you, but... Well, you can pay for something too in a builder's yard. You know, yeah. a guy. You, the Somebody's sand paying guy? for it, Jim. Oh, okay. What I'm saying is, the sand is weed sand miners. <laughs> Bobby Sands? <laughs> I'm any good to you. That's what got him in the end, wasn't it? When you walk from your sun lounger to the sea, mm -hmm. will you be swimming in the sea? A dabble. Dabble in the sea swimming. Bring your flip flops right to the edge of the water. Uh huh. Crocs, yes or no, and hold this. Yeah. yeah. Well, not me, but you, yeah. yeah love Crocs, man. Yeah. Um, I love it. I've probably been Tenerife. This sounds like it's not true. 15 times, maybe 20. Yeah, because you would. Didn't you and your dad always go? Was that a thing? Yeah. Um, he got stroked. Oh my God. If this guy's about, look out for him. Bought some sand, freezing. Fucking river. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy doing like a show and all the. T down the strip, and I, everyone's around watching him. And he's like a magician type fella he's mm -hmm. a fucking the wizard wide man right and he has two bins and he's doing that game where he's got like two black discs and three cups and he puts the cups on the disc and he moves them around mm -hmm. and he's like which one is it under and you guess wrong blah blah there's a sleight of hand involved I'm sure he's watching and he's doing all this and he's showing how fast he is he's making kids guess and they get it wrong and everyone laughs and it's all good and he's like okay someone needs to bet here someone needs to bet and the game looks very easy mm -hmm. it looks like you can guess what it is and he picks my dad and my dad thinks he's part of a show he thinks and this guy <coughs> is like doing like a performance piece where he's pretending to like take your money and on you bet yeah. and if you lose it but the guy was just a real life guy so my dad, he's like, you got to put some money in. And my dad's like, don't have any cash on me. Just My dad looks in his pocket. He's like, just traveler's checks. And the guy's like so slick and fast. He's like, yeah, I'll take, we'll put those in. Put two, and there were two 20 pound or 40 pound traveler's checks. And he put it down. And he did it. He's like, you have to guess. And my dad's looking, at, winking at me like, I'm in the show. And <laughs> you know, the show. I'm an actor in the show. But he wasn't. He was playing himself. Aye. Right? He yeah, didn't yeah. know that. He thought he, he was anyone. Yeah. And the credits would be Dennis Todd as himself. As himself. Yeah. So he's, <laughs> at yourself. So he's moving all these around. The guy and my dad goes, thinks he knows what one of it. And it's very obvious. Yeah, it should be that one. And my dad points at that. The guy lifts it open. 
He's like, uh, oh, so it wasn't that one. Guy puts Traver- Traverse checks in his pockets. And then everyone, that's a show over. And everyone just kind of goes about the business. And my dad like is like, no. My dad goes, no, I wasn't, I wasn't really betting. Like, Aye. I'm, you're just putting, it. and the guy's like, no, no. <laughs> the guy's like, no. <laughs> me, me, money. <laughs> the guy's like, no. Like, so imagine your dad a fight with him. He's all, what hand, what hand? <laughs> the guy, I don't know what he was saying in Spanish, but the guy looked at my dad and said, like, he was like, f- fucking idiot. You know, he's, and my dad, could, we couldn't work out what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he uh, who are you calling a fucking idiot, El Canto? <laughs> Here I'll ball back at you. We just, we just lost all the money. All of it? Yeah. And my dad. 40 quid was back 40, in those days. Back, in I'm, talking, I'm talking Shit, I've 25 fuck. years ago. Yeah. More. Well, that's a lot of money, yeah. That's, your, that's your week's holiday, fuck. Yeah, because we didn't spend a lot of money because we went half bored. And then when you have breakfast, you know, my dad's like, here, take that up your right, I do that whenever I'm, when I'm on the road. What? Like, just stealing loads of croissants and bread and stuff you like continental breakfast no we'll have a fry but i'll steal the, con- <laughs> I'll steal the continental stuff from my lunch <laughs> well like do you have any like because you travel a lot for gigs yeah like when we can and you we st- still go over and do the clubs and that sort of thing do you do you have any like weird travel hacks that you do like you go this is such an inconvenience to me so you have a solution for example i will um when if I'm on a long haul flight, which I've probably have been like four times in my life, but when I'm when I'm traveling trans intercontinental, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I go to From the sto- Paris to Berlin. I know, and <laughs> every disco I've been in, I am. Um, I know. I know they won't have almond milk on board, so I go to the Starbucks. I get a tea, and then I say separately, could I get a bit of almond milk in a separate cup? But I don't want to be carrying a cup just with milk all the time. Aye. So I also buy a wee bottle of water, hoof that, pour the almond in side of the thing sort of for tea on board see that's a good tip because I'm I've gone gluten free so uh, welcome to the club and dairy free and all that sort of shit so I'm going to have to get some that's another bad shout but apart from that I don't really know I long haul flights my only thing is I get four whiskey and cokes and bend them and then fall asleep that's not really a hack that's more uh... it's just the best way to fall asleep that's the only thing I've found I feel shit me out. if I drink when I'm flying you know because you kind of wake up it. a bit and I, I fucking love it I get four old. whiskey and cokes yeah is this only for long haul flights? Yeah. All oh, right. You know. Oh yeah. Like, no, I don't like. You three yeah, if you're going to Glasgow. Yeah. to Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you're all welcome aboard this flight to Glasgow. We'll be on for here. I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> will you try and get like your own row if you can, mate? Will you like? Will the, you the fucking best experience of my life was flying back from Australia about four years ago, and so there's two flights. So there's one that's like eight hours, and then one that's. 16 or something um, and in the longer flight for, it must be from I can't remember if it was from Abu Dhabi to Dublin or whichever one it was it was the longer flight and I was sitting on the plane like window seat th- I'm thinking fuck it's going to be a nightmare on the 16 or yeah on the, on the 16 or one the window seat this is shit fucking hell and then I'm like looking around like, it's not that busy like, it's a fucking at what point you're ready in the air or you're people are still coming on people are still coming on and I'm like <sighs> and I could start to get like Fuck! I think I think I've got a fucking row here. Here's what you don't want to do: when, make a move too early. Oh yeah, that's the thing. So that's what, so I'm like, I'm I must have looked so suspicious because <laughs> I'm sitting in the fucking like, yeah, like yeah. looking around, me. and then could hear the stewardess being like or the captain being like, uh, close doors for departure. As soon as you and I immediately three pillows, three blankies, fucking made a fort. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. As soon as you hear, put your belt on. Fuck you. I'm going. I, <laughs> like, I'm I I've made the mistake myself. Before I've seen people make it where you are sitting beside like another person or two other people. You see a free row as people are boarding. You go to get it. Mm. The air stewardess will take against you. They'll be Aye. like, no, sit in your own seat. And then that's not an option. As soon as boom, boom, away you go. Do you? Want? I did it in a flight to New York, and there was another. There was like a mother and daughter from like Armagh or somewhere, um, going to waiting at the same time. And I knew that they were going for it. They knew I was going for it. And it was literally like whoever gets there first. Aye. And I got there first. And the man was like, "Oh, something like blah, blah, blah. We thought we could, we could get." And I was like, "No." Yeah, I, 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 can't. I would go to Bahrain. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? Just hold me. Just land the Bahrain one time. I wanted and it the was captain like, to come. In. It wasn't Bahrain, so it was Australia as well. No, was it? Whichever one it was, there was a couple that had been on the first flight beside me, and then when it came to the second flight. They were like, do you want to take the aisle? And I was like, no. And they're like, 
you'll be getting up all night because we pee quite a bit and I was like oh, fine no. I yeah. don't give a f- fucking sit in your seat um, they they where were off. you were you at the window no I was at the aisle and they were trying to put me they wanted to get me into the window and ah. I was like I'm for that one you think it's my first fucking flight I've been flying with air hot <laughs> <laughs> I flew Air with hot, the Luftwaffe. Air lingus. <laughs> Connie lingus. All of it. Yeah. Where do you think that guy would have his offices, hypothetically? Not Belfast, like. Right here. Hollywood? Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah, that's his whole thing. <laughs> yeah. he, ta- he has people on his address and he's Hollywood. Definitely would have it here. Hollywood, the Hollywood. The hard it's, way. It's one really, really small room, but it's glamorous as fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like a it's gold. Yeah. It's yeah, like a yeah. gold lift from fucking Willy Wonka. Yeah, he's got like art on the ceiling, like commissioned art on yeah. the ceiling. Yeah. And a cardboard cut out of Ted dancing. But it's not the actual one from Three Men. No, it's Teddy sharing him dancing. <laughs> you didn't expect Teddy sharing him this time of morning. <laughs> There was a lot of processor. <laughs> for a second, I went, Did, is Teddy Sheringham famous for dancing? <laughs> Come on, we're going to meet Ted dancing. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Did you see me against Real Madrid? <laughs> <laughs> Peter K. played for my... I don't know. What does Teddy Sheringham talk like? I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. Um, did I, this, this is fucking... I don't know if this is even funny. It just happened. I had a very strange experience about a week and a half ago. So, because we're sitting at home and we still ass it's bad skin and stuff, I've just started like playing Call of Duty, right? On a beanbag chair, stoned. Is that, does the doctor recommend that? No. There's a Maggie three things. It's, yeah, I, I figured out, I play, well, it's three and a half hours roughly a day, right? But most of that time was just getting in and out of the beanbag. Yeah. Without touching stuff, because I'm all, right. I'm all like Luby. Um, oh. But if you're, do, you, do you play a PlayStation or anything like that to you? So I don't have headphones or anything, right? And when you don't have headphones, sometimes you can hear other people playing the game coming through your TV. Okay, I right, was stoned right. as fuck, and I could. There was some guy. There was some guy who was playing, it, and his kid was clearly trying to get a go, right? So this guy's like, "Fuck off, mate! Fucking die, you cunt! Fucking!" And I just like kind of zoned out a wee bit, and I could just hear the wee kid going, "Daddy, why did you die?" And <laughs> fucking shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, you've you've blown your head off. Daddy, why? <laughs> kill him, Daddy, kill him. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> like, and my feet were all slippy because my stress is cream. Fucking terrified. Could you be thrown so much further now? Because you're so lubed. Like if you were yeah. slid across a floor a month ago compared to now. Yeah, you could play curling with me. Right? Yeah. Can we? Yeah, yeah. We'll try it. I've nothing on right now. Curling with Mickey Bottle. We're going to speak to the commissioners right now about this. <laughs> We're going to aim Anthony for BBC Costa. 3. <laughs> Anthony Costa gets you by the belt. Him and Teddy sharing them. They're going to fuck you. <laughs> fuck you down Royal Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you down Royal Avenue is the name of the second series. <laughs> <laughs> we got a magician from <laughs> Tenerife's going to host it. This kid's fucking dynamite. <laughs> I swear to God, he took my Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> I made him a cup of tea. I looked down and fucking moved. He's got talent. That takes talent. Takes a lot to surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we please, like, I don't care what it is. Can we write a film? Get it made. I don't care who's in it. Don't care what the budget is. But there has to be a moment where that exact thing happens. <laughs> it takes a lot to surprise me and the person jobs. Yeah, definitely. I love the writer film. What's that guy <coughs> called? Good question. Rick. No, uh, he's Rick. not a Rick. Is, is it like a little bit American Italian? Mm, maybe. Or, or is he? Is it more of a, you know, Goldstein thing? Shit, yeah, it would be... What about an Italian, Italian first name, Jew? Jewish second name? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Italian? Rico- Ricardo Goldstein? Yeah. Yeah. Cause he Ricardo tried to get, Goldstein. I wanted to get... And he's Irish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He wanted to get in the show business. Yeah. And he thought Hollywood's run by Jews. I told, I told him I'd have an office in Hollywood, <laughs> and I do. <laughs> Read you the can't beat him. Join them. <laughs> 
He's got one rabbi weekend. curl. Uh, Different colour from his normal hair. <laughs> I'm going to make it offer you can't refuse. Frank Mitchell and Linda Nolan. What are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. I want to buy this cash quai. <laughs> Get me the puddle jump and the lux. <laughs> Julie, <laughs> is the puddle jumper outside? Good. I've got two grand to play with. Me and Bottler are going to the Boucher Road. <laughs> I got an idea for a new car. It's called the Audi Partner. <laughs> the kid says he can get me an Audi for 500 large. <laughs> Bottler just did a show to 80,000 people. The kid made 900 bucks. All I got to do is move some sand from here to Tenerife. It's risky, but I'm willing to take the risk. That's why I learned. <laughs> and he can't smoke a cigar and walk. <laughs> I can do it all. I'll put you in an Oscar winner film. I'll make a billion dollars. If you ask me to walk down the street when I'm smoking this, I can't help you. <laughs> Marlon Brando says to me, if you keep smoking that and you walk over here, you're my agent for life. I said, Marlon, I can't do it. <laughs> I remember the time Richard Gere was in here. He said, hey, <laughs> Goldstein, I bought you a hamster. I said, take that hamster and stick it up your ass. And he did. <laughs> I remember the time Michael <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> He said, you like hamsters? I said, I, I don't like hamsters. I don't like ham. But one guy I do like is Teddy Sheringham. <laughs> I remember I, <laughs> when I was working on top of the pops. I was working with Jimmy before the allegations of course. I said, Jimmy, you want three. I can only get you two. He said, Goldstein, don't take no for an answer. If I knew then what I know now. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm never surprised, but that scared the fuck out of me now. Oh. Uh, R.I.P. James Savile. One of the best, one of the greats. Stuart, fuck. I always mix them up. <laughs> oh, man. We have to make that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's do it. I've got the time. Goldstein. That's it. Goldstein Enterprises. Goldstein Enterprises. Yeah. Just in a business park. Yeah. In Belfast. And like he has like st we startups around him and stuff, you know, like a cupcake business and all that. Aye. And they have like vegan meetings. gravy. Yeah, and they have meetings with like you know all the tenants. You know the the person who runs the offices. Aye. And he's there. It's like normal people. Yeah, he's, exactly. Yeah. That could yeah. be fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah. I got ideas for this place. <laughs> Pool. Like no, Goldstein obviously not. Yeah. Nothing's a bad idea, you know. Mr. Goldstein, I think this is a, a sign of your weakness. Here's a sign for you. Wet floor. <laughs> Speaking of wet floors, one, one time I fucked Marilyn Monroe. Manson. I always get them mixed up. <laughs> That's his whole thing. <laughs> Just getting celebrities mixed up. <laughs> Not Marilyn <and> Charles. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's very, very enjoyable. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I've commissioned a public garden. It's called the Sarah Jessica Park. <laughs> you can't drive to it. You know what the husband's like. You couldn't find the building, huh? Well, unfortunately, the sign fell. <laughs> I don't even make fucking sense. Uh, <laughs> we have to leave it there, I think. I right, fucking right. I think we have to leave it there because it can't, it can't get better. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes you just go, this can't get better. It's a party. Uh -huh. It's midnight. The party's going to go on till four or five. It was time to go home. It's time to go home yeah. when the party's at its You'll best. I regret it. Yeah. Go home when the party's at its best. That's what I always say. That's what I said to. That's what I said to Culkin. I said, "Get out! They don't love you." 
Let him keep the fucking specky, brother. <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> to my guest. <laughs> um, Waterfront Hall. Waterfront on December 2022. And I want to in February. Nice. So Touring the show you've just done. Yeah, touring the show that was just in the Ulster Hall. So we're doing all the hot spots in a skillin banger newcastle fuck the old castle yeah fuck that our my you're my everybody's my yeah um yes yeah, someone turns well so and then check it out oma oh my god doing the strool mm. oversight wasn't my day should be fine you live and learn yeah um we'll put tickets for waterfront in the in the description of this episode but that's a new, that's a new show yeah that'll be a new show called yeah uh come on just because i had to think of something yeah, I did. Yeah, I was a wee bit like, I, I was like, can you type it out so it looks like I'm going, damn it. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah. Do the whole show as that uh, character. Just like that. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to do something like that. Can we be, what if we're showbiz twins? And it's just not referenced. Yeah, that just we're not, not referenced. That we're, yeah. yeah. The Goldstein brothers. <laughs> I could, yeah, it could be an idea. We'll do that. But cancel Waterfront. We've got yeah, shows to do. Right. Fucking Let's make a TV show. Yeah. Um, yeah, cheers for coming on. Mickey Thanks Bartlett, much. everyone. The puddle, we'll call this episode the Puddle Jumper Time. I think. Cheers. See you next time. Do you want to go to Jet Center? We did. 100%. Yeah.